Chrome Guided Smile, Metal versus Plastic. This video will discuss why metal-based guides are superior to plastic guides. Plastic guides, in general, have a few drawbacks behind metal. One of the main ones is that there is a lingual bow. Because of the strength, the construction of plastic, you have to have the lingual aspect. The lingual aspect means it's more difficult to seat the guide. It also requires a much more aggressive flap and a larger footprint. Plastic guides also require, generally, the bone to be reduced before the guide will fit because there's undercut. You'll find that on most situations, most arches, that there is an undercut aspect. And because the plastic guide has to contact bone, the only way to seat a guide is to reduce the bone first, and that can be quite cumbersome. So you'll see that repeated on different designs. Prior to Chrome, we made plastic guides and then developed the, uh, the, the Chrome Cobalt system and then moved away from plastic altogether. So let's move plastic off to the side and show the advantages of why metal guides are far superior. Number one, it's a floating guide system. So it only has a labial aspect, labial buckle aspect, no lingual. It is also not contacting the bone. All right, so this is floating. It is just dependent on pin trajectory. And we designed step-down drills to coordinate with these pins. They are transcortical. You can see I'm poking through the lingual plate and just pin trajectory holds the, the fixation base in place. Now what this means is that you do not have to reduce the bone to get the guide to seat. In fact, our fixation base is delivered via the pin guide to supported while it is attached with chrome locks to the fixation base. So you can see in this situation, there is some undercut, but we don't have to contact the bone. Therefore, the floating guide can be delivered vertically by using a pin guide. And you'll find this in all chrome cases. As you can see, there's a nice relief here of about five millimeters between the bone and the metal. Floating guide technology. There's the pins. And then of course, the other reason to use metal is because the osteotomy guide is rigid. It is very, very strong. It does not flex during surgery. And also you have full visualization to watch your drills and your implants go in and also the ability to irrigate. And one perk with metal is that we can more easily design an FP1 type prosthetic. So those are some of the reasons of why to use metal-based guides over plastic guides. Chrome Guided Smile.